Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm here with Plugin Boutique and today we're taking a quick look at the Ozone 7 Elements plugin by Isotope. The Ozone 7 Elements is a mastering plugin that is meant to be the quick and easy solution for people that don't have time or don't fully understand all of the parameters that go into the Ozone 7 suite, but still want to benefit from the quality of the algorithms and the math put into it. There are a ton of presets, and I'm sure there's one that's going to make your track sound great. There are three parameters that you can adjust. Those three parameters are the maximizer, you can turn it on and off, you can adjust the threshold, the EQ amount, which adjusts how much of the EQ is applied to the signal, and the dynamics amount, which adjusts the amount of the uncompressed or dry versus the compressed wet signal of the audio. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and listen to Ozone 7 Elements in action. I'm going to go ahead and bypass this track and listen to what it sounds like. So that's without the Ozone 7 elements and this is with it. And one really cool thing that they added to the Elements plugin is the effective gain matching option. And you just do that by clicking the little ear. And what that does is, you heard before when I was bypassing the plugin, things got much louder. And usually when things get louder, they're perceived as better whether or not they actually are. That's just the way the ears work and the brain works. So what we can do is click that little ear and now when we bypass the signal, the loudness factor will go away and we'll be able to concentrate on what's actually changing in terms of dynamics, in terms of EQ, in terms of saturation, and these types of things, as opposed to just being like, whoa, that's louder, that's much more awesome. So let's see what that sounds like now. So when I was bypassing it at that time, you could hear that things were better with the plugin, but the overall volume wasn't changing that much. I mean, there was a little bit, but not a lot. But what I could tell right off the bat was that the highs were a little bit more crisper. There definitely was a bigger stereo field in the higher frequency spectrum, and things just sounded tighter in the lower end. So because this plugin seems to be focused on presets, uh, I think we can expect in the near future to have more well-regarded mastering engineers contribute their own presets that we will then be able to get, I'm sure, download for free from their website as or get an update. But Greg Calby is very highly regarded in the mastering circles, so I think this is a good place to start and to check out what he's done and what he's provided in terms of presets for Ozone 7 Elements. There's one final thing I want to talk about, and that is each one of these presets comes with a sort of guide about what should be happening. For example, this upper harmonics preset, for best results, input signal levels should sit between negative 20 and negative 12 dB RMS and negative 6 and negative 3 dB peak on Ozone's input meter. This is the input meter over here. The red is the peak and the RMS is below it. So if we run this now, we'll see if we have negative 20 to negative 12 and negative six to negative three on these meters. And as you can see, we're pretty close there. That's pretty much it. It's a very simple plugin that gives you amazing results. Benefiting from the 
isotope teams, algorithms, without having to worry about too much. It's just, I mean, it's a no-brainer, especially if you don't know too much about mastering and mixing and these types of things. Highly recommend it. We'll see you next time. Thank you.